I'm Katie Garrett, I'm a senior and I'm now fielder utility player. JC Phillips, I'm a senior in third grade in the middle yeah. I'm Ava Carver, junior. I'm Avery Carver, I'm a junior and I'm a junior. Taylor Wilkins, junior. I'm Hi, this is Belma Carrier, I'm a freshman. I'm a I'm Hallie Barrett, a freshman. I'm Zoe Furlan, I'm a freshman, and I'm a visitor and an I'm Avery Smith, I'm a freshman, and I play outfield. I'm Taylor Lye, I'm an eighth grader, and I play outfield. I'm Kylie Shanks, I'm an eighth grader, and I play second base. I'm Ella Watkins, I'm an eighth grader, and I'm a middle infielder. I'm Holly Brain, I'm an eighth grader, and I'm a utility player. I'm Chelsea Coleman, I'm an eighth grader, and I'm a catcher. I'm Emily Williams, I'm an 8th grader, I play pitcher and first I'm Bailey Miller, I'm in 8th grade, I'm a pitcher and outfielder. I'm Payson Pentecost, I'm in 7th grade and I play outfield. All right, Mustang Sports Nation. Here we are back in Fort Walton Beach, Florida. Glad to be here. We are going to be taking on West Jessamine, the Colts. We're going to have a little bit of a technical issue, so bear with me here.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, bear with me. New problem, or a uh, new field, new problems. Not sure what's going on here. Had plenty of upload speed, so hold tight. We'll try to get it worked out. Alright, so coming to the plate for the Mustangs here, J.C. Beth Phillips is going to give it a chance to work itself out from a freeze-up standpoint. It's a hold tight. J.C. Beth coming into the contest red hot. Been killing the ball to start the season. And here we go, first pitch. Ball low. Came in at 57. She's got a little pop to her. JC Beth, that one low at 56. I'm glad to have my radar back, but sometimes too many devices can cause problems, so we shall see. Got option two here in just a minute. JC lets that one go by. Scoreboard not working, so we're gonna have to keep up with the counter cell. Or it's probably working, just nobody maintaining it, if you will. Dub pitch that one low, JC Beth. Backs up, I think it's three balls and a strike, possibly. See Beth at the ready. That one hits right side. And she's going to get on. Oh, man. Hit it too hard. JC Beth hit it to the right fielder. And the first out made on the cutback. So the first out is made. Ava Carver now steps in. Did that help you? If you saw the count? No. Give me just a minute. I'll be able to keep up with it whenever I get all the freezing fixed. <laughs> so that one will call a strike. So guys, I'm going to go quiet for just a minute, leave it on this camera, trying to fix my freeze, so hold tight.
still alive. Okay, um, it's a miracle. That, that camera's got bungee cord or something. I think the green bungee cord is in the view. All right, I am back with you. Don't know if that's going to help or hurt. We got runners on second and third. Uh, let me get them there. That'll help. We'll see. We're going to get better. That ball hit just over the head of Avery Carver. Luckily, she got out of the way. Smart player in foul territory anyway would not have affected it but all right let me see here that one outside all right maybe we're better maybe we're not I think we are better All right. In just a minute, I'm even going to make it better. So, all right, back to this one. It is the Taylor Wilkins at the plate. With a chance to do some damage, he goes left side, left fielder, finds it. And on base, we had Avery Carver and Jocelyn No. Jocelyn No nursing a sore ankle, hit the dirt earlier as I was trying to clean my cameras up. Okay, I'm getting better all the while. You're gonna go black here for just a minute. Bear with me. For just a minute. Bear with me. All 
right, I like what I'm getting here. Right, I like what I'm getting here. So it looks like it's going to be the Zoe Fro, John, the mound for the Mustangs. So it looks like it's going to be the Zoe Fro, John, the mound for the Mustangs. Leading off for Wes Gesman is going to be number 10. All right, Zoe Froge. On the mound, ready to bring it. That one a call ball at 50 miles an hour. And the pitch, that one hit the batter while she was in the box. So dead ball, bottom of the first inning. for the pitch. <laughs> Zoe gets her to stay up, center field. Taylor Wilkins there for the grab and the first out made center field by the junior number 21, Taylor Wilkins. So, lefty, now Wes Jessamine, stands in the box. Hard shot, it's going to be gap. Taylor Wilkins on her wheels, gets there. Runner will reach, so Wes Jessamine starts out, runner on first. So one out, one on. Zoe Froge looks in, gets the call. Batter joins us at the house. Runner foot on the base. Zoe steps the rubber, throws. That one popped up. It's going to stay in here. And Avery Carver there throws down to first. Over throws. Just a little bit. Runner moves. Out made, good one by Avery. So runner advances two outs. Zero, 0 score, bottom of the first inning. And the pitch, that one popped up right side. Abigail tries to find her way there. Zoe with the pitch. Stays down. Zoe. Ready, now throws. Low inside. Zoe bringing it at 54. I wish I would have had my radar going last night for Mr. Peyton Carey as well. He was bringing it for the baseball team. That one low and in, Avery steps out, tells her young pitcher to take a breath. And 
the pitch. Call the ball. The runner will make it to first. So runners now first and second. Still two outs, the bottom of the first inning. Strike. Nice job. Zoe froze. Zoe comes set, throws, ball hit hard down the third base side, just out of the reach of JC Bet. Foul ball. Hey. A loud strike, essentially. And Zoe comes set, and the pitch. Pop the right side, it's gonna be foul. Over the head of Abigail. Picked up Katie Garrett. Thrown in. Not exactly sure of the count. I know it's a couple strikes at least. <clears throat> Got a pitch up. What's the count? Do you know? One ball, two strikes. Zoe set ahead in the count, now throws. Ooh. So an even count now, 2-2. Two -two. Runners holding, first and second. And the pitch. Good block by Avery Carver. Been there, done that. She's uh, She is stout behind the plate, I call her and her sister. Vicious and malicious. Excellent softball player. She saved advancement right there. Now I believe it's a full count. Zoe Fro is going to white knuckle down and go to work. Hard shot. Foul ball left side over by the dugout. Still a full count. Battle being held here between West Jessamine number eight and our very own number 14, Zoe Fro. The pitch, hard shot down to third. J.C. Beth gloves it, picks it up, and gets it done. Nice work there by J.C. Beth. The House of Onyx has been serving their customers since 1967. They have items for guys and gals of all ages in any price range, starting as low as $20. They don't just sell gifts, they sell memories that can be handed down for generations. At the House of Onyx, you will find jewelry, minerals, fossils, as well as polished, tumbled, and even unearthed crystals. Stop by anytime, Monday through Friday from nine to four, no appointment needed. Let Renee and her team help you find your next gift for that special someone that will be enjoyed by generations to come. The House of Onyx, 120 North Main Street, Greenville, Kentucky, 270-338-2363. So top of the second inning, Mustangs back to work. It will be Ella Watkins, the very talented eighth grader. That's not her, can't see numbers, is that her? That's her, all right. The pitch, 
Foul back my direction. Thank you, inventor of the chain link fence. Just saved my life. Ella, extreme speed. The other one fouled back. down to 2 <coughs> ready to make it right goes after that one all speed pitch at 45 takes some off of it and the first out so Abigail Skaggs a very hot hitting senior comes to the plate wears number 22 plays first base Stays out at 46. <laughs> Inside call to strike. after it. And we are top of the second inning. Zero, zero score. One ball, two strikes on Abigail Skaggs. So she's trying to protect up there, looking at one out. The pitch outside, good eye there, 2-2. Two, two. set oh a call strike a delayed call I don't think the umpire was actually sold himself he does ring her though for the second out and now it's going to be Zoe Froge the pitcher of record with a chance to make something happen here on deck, the senior Katie Garrett. That one a call strike. The pitch, and though he goes after it, fouls it off right side. First baseman will give chase out of her hands. Pitch up. Thank you. So Zoe resets, steps in. And the pitch goes after it. Fouls it back. Takes my camera for a little bit of a ride. I will straighten that up here in just a second. Bear with me just a minute. Off speed, Zoe holds. Appealed, nothing working. And hopefully we can see around this fence. I'm hoping I get to see a home run to center field peeking around this fence, see what Zoe gives us. Goes after it, fouls it off right side. Zoe holding tight here. Great hitter, great pitcher. And the thing that has impressed me the most this year is her play at third that I've seen early on. Now the pitch. That one up. Good eye, Zoe.
you can straighten that camera up right there. It's got in my chain link fence. So just go to the right. Got my best assistant on the camera. Shelby caught me in a call strike. Yeah. On behalf of all the hits, Star 107.3 and Mustang Sports Nation, we would like to take this time to thank Double S Farms for all they do for our county, our community, and our student athletes. Wherever a need exists, you will find Double S Farms. All right, and on cue, Zoe Froge. Ready to go. Nice one. 52, a call strike. So a 0 1 count. Top of the third inning. That one gets away from Zoe. Zoe Froze with the pitch. Ball hit hard down to J.C. Best. She's going to glove throw across, get the out. And the first one had by way of the senior. Number two, J.C. Beth Phillips. on that foul ball, I will fix that between innings. So it don't happen again, I'm saying. All right, that one hit middle. Love, Zoe throws across just in time. Way to stay with it there. I'm not sure if it was Zoe or Ava Carver. But somebody got it. All right, hold tight, gonna fix that move. All right. And I am back. We are back. Here we go. 
Went out that ball hit left side. It's going to be foul. So an even count, two balls, two strikes. Top of the third inning, Zoe Froge. All speed gets past. Avery throws down and she will reach. So a runner on, tough one to handle by the junior Avery Carver. All speed pitch floated in there. They seem to tend to take a different tra trajectory whenever they hit the dirt. And in this case, the AstroTurf. The pitch. Call the ball. So one on, one out. Zoe Froze trying to make it two out. That one stays down. The pitch. Another one down. Good job, Avery. Uh, Avery. Staying with it, keeping that runner right where she's at. Zoe the pitch, goes after it, nice one. Out made. Nice work there, Mustang. The Muhlenberg Lady Mustang softball team would like to thank the following Grand Slam sponsors. Bluegrass Collision and Paint, American Legion, A New Start, Heimbrock, The Farmhouse, and an H Steaming LLC. And finally, First Southern National Bank. Thank you for all that you do for our softball program. So ready to step in the senior, Katie Garrett, and I think it's gonna be back to the leadoff J.C. Beth after that. So Katie Garrett, 
a lefty. Looks at her man, gets the call. Steps in, 0-0 zero, zero score. Katie knows oh, we need some base runner. Got that senior veteranism about her. Ready to do the work. And the call strike. left side. Katie awaits the pitch. That one outside. the pitch that one hit back pitcher gloves throws across Katie almost outruns a good speed there on the lefty as is we got one out top half of the inning I believe it's either top of fourth or top of third For some reason when we come to these nice parts they choose not to run the scoreboard for us so I'm just guessing it best that one up and in, spins the AC Beth back. And that one hits her, JC Beth. Leading the team again, I believe, and hit by pitcher. She gets hit more than the Central City Viaduct, if you will. She gets bruised on the daily. So back to the second baseman now, Ava Carver with a runner on. So with a chance to push one across here, J.C. Beth. Works her way off, now retreats. Ava, first pitch of ball. Bottom-up pulls back, J.C. Beth is in there. Good speed there by the senior. So advance to second base, Ava Carver, and now with a chance to do some damage. Ava, part of the vicious and malicious duo, her and her twin sister, Avery. That one low and inside, good eye. Hold up the count. Three balls, no strikes. So good spot here as her sister Avery Carver waits patiently on deck. The pitch, a good one, 3 1. Pitcher trying to fight her way back into it here. That one at 55 miles an hour. Pitch low, she's going to walk her. And there we go. So runners first and second in a good predicament now are the Mustangs. So first and second, Avery Carver, the thumper. Steps in, pitcher taking too long. And the pitch, that one low. Catcher keeps it in front. Runners retreat. That's a strike runners. Take off, gets passed, and man, what a play there. You can see J.C. Beth 
hanging on to the bag for dear life. Knows what this run means here in a low scoring game. Both runners advance, now second and third. And we are in a fine predicament. One out. And the beast from the east, Ava Carver, Avery Carver, ready to push him across. That one a swing through, a swing through you strike. One ball, two strikes. She's down looking up at it. She will not panic. Ice water in her veins. Avery Carver wipes that one, goes after it. That will be deep enough to score a run. Center fielder is going to go to third. And the first run on the board for the Mustangs. Nice job, Avery Carver, doing what had to be done to score that run. And then I get to put the first run on the board in favor of the good guys, our Lady Mustangs. Threat not over as we are with another thumper here, the very talented freshman, Jocelyn No. That pitch low. So runner on second. Pitch low and runner tries to advance and does advance. Ava Carver works herself into scoring position. And Jocelyn No in a big spot here. And the pitch. Jocelyn goes after it, hits it a ton foul. She cranks that thing over to the pitcher's mound on the adjacent field. That's how early she got around on the ball. So two balls and a strike, Jocelyn. Would love to pick up this extra run here, as would all of Mustang Nation. All speed pitch at 40, she drops it off. I don't know why, why my radar was lying to me there for a little bit. Now it seems to be fairly accurate. So we'll show it again. And a time call. Jocelyn Noel backs out. One nothing Mustangs up. That pitch high. So a full count. Jocelyn No has worked it to a full house. Anxiously waiting in the box. That one popped up. Left side of the infield. Third baseman calls, makes the play, but the Mustangs on the board. Good work. has been serving their customers since 1967. They have items for guys and gals of all ages in any price range, starting as low as $20. Operations. At the House of Onyx, you will find jewelry, minerals, fossils, as well as polished, tumbled, and even unearthed crystals. Stop by any time, Monday through Friday, from nine to four, no appointment needed. Let for that special someone that will be enjoyed by generations to come. The House of Onyx, 120 North Main Street, Greenville, Kentucky, 270-338-2363. No so the Mustangs scoring first. I don't think I've had a chance to, but I've had a chance, just hadn't done it, gone through the infield yet. So from a defensive standpoint on the mound, Zoe Froge, her battery mate, Avery Carver over on first, the senior. Abigail Skaggs on second is going to be Ava Carver shortstop. Will be manned by the freshman Jocelyn No third base, the senior. J.C. Beth Phillips out in left. We've got Ella Watkins, center field. We are going to have the junior Taylor Wilkins and out in right field, another senior. 
Katie Garrett. So 15 for West Jessamine. Coming to the box. We are bottom of the inning. What inning? I'm not exactly sure. And the Mustangs up one to nothing. That one a slap. Right side, Zoe Froze. Takes it. A little slap that was hit very weak right back to Zoe Froge. It was as weak as OJ's alibi, as they say. Zoe Froge on the mound ready with one out. Not two, I never cleared my bases. Let's get that right. There we go. As I was looking at that, I think a should have been called strike, was called the ball. 1-0 count. Zoe Froge, I could tell by the grumblings of the Mustang faithful. That ball hit on the ground to third. Ava Carver there to cover. Abigail Skaggs working well. So two outs now. I think maybe two pitches, maybe two outs. Hadn't been very many. Zoe Froge here. And looky there. I believe it may be three pitches. Oh, nope, that one thrown pass, and the runner's going to try to advance. She will. Katie Garrett there throws down. And runner reaches second. So with two outs, now a runner for West Jessamine and in scoring position. trying to end it right here. That ball hit, left side, left field. Katie Watch or uh, Ella Watkins. Ball finds its way to the ground. She slips out there, it's wet in the outfield. So that's gonna be a tie game, one to one. And the slippery outfield grass had something to do with that. On the mound here, Mustangs calming each other down. Saying tie game right back where we started. Zoe, going to work, runner on second, threat being applied here by West Jessamine. And that one popped up right side. Ava Carver, Katie Garrett calls them off and makes the play. Nice work there by the senior, taking charge, getting it done. So Mustangs come back to the dugout.
All right, sorry about that. Had to take a quick breather. At the plate, Taylor Wilkins chases one low. I think she's going to have a 1-1 one -one count or 0-2. And I need to clear my outs. All right, back at it here. hit on the ground first base gloves first base camera seems to be misbehaving there we go so one out made Taylor Wilkins on the ground out to first back Ella Watkins now in the box for the Mustangs pitcher Coming set. Cold strike. Ella Watkins, a great benefit with her wheels, extreme speed here, if she could get on. Cuts through. So two balls, two strikes, they even count. Hit hard on the ground, back to the pitcher, thrown across for the second out. Off the end of the bat there, I think it was an end shot. And Abigail Skaggs, the senior. Knowing we need base runners, ready to provide, if she can. That one popped up right side first baseman. We'll make the play and the out. On behalf of all the hits, Star 107.3 and Mustang Sports Nation, we would like to take this time to thank Double S Farms for all they do for our county, our community, and our student athletes. Wherever a need exists, you will find Double S Farms. Mustangs. All right, Mustangs back in the field. So we'll be bottom half of some inning somewhere. As they say, it's five o'clock somewhere. It's some inning somewhere here. All I know is we are bottom half of probably around the fourth or fifth. Bottom of the fourth, bottom of the fourth inning. That one fouled back. Go that one 
It's straightaway shortstop. Jocelyn No there to handle. Good work by the freshman, first out made. And Zoe at the ready. Now the pitch. Shot left field. Ella Watkins there and makes the play. Nice job by the eighth grader out in left. Second pitch by Zoe. A call strike outer portion. Again, we're bottom of fourth. Two balls in, a strike. Pitch. Shot down to third. Good one. J.C. Beth throws over 40 out. So the out made. Good one. J.C. Beth. Never cleared my out, so it is appropriate. Or I guess that was three. My bad. I'm kind of way behind here. Had to take a restroom break and got me all out of sorts. Star Moto 7.3 loves our athletes. Home of Mustang football. Touchdown! Basketball and more. We do the work so you don't have to. Star 107.3, your home for Muhlenberg County Mustangs Athletics. Zoe Froge comes to the plate, top of the fifth inning. A cold strike at 54 miles an hour. Pop center, second baseman gloves, throws across and makes the out. Of course that camera's locked up yet again. Come on camera. And we just have to start keeping it right there on that first base play. So Katie Garrett, the left-handed senior, will stand in with one out. About a month, lays it down, it will float foul. So a strike. That pitch low, so a 1 1 count. Ball 
hit center field. There we go. Senior Katie Garrett getting it done. So a runner on with one out. That will help out a girl. And now coming to the plate, back to the leadoff, J.C. Beth Phillips. The pitch. Fouled off, 0-1 count. Runner on first. Want to say hello to a buddy of mine, Mr. Nathan Brothers, has a birthday out there in a Mustang Nation land today. Hello, Mr. Nathan. Happy birthday. I think he's 70 or 71. That ball, center field. Oh, and she loses it in the sun. Katie Garrett will find her way to second. Hits her right on the leg. Tough play in the sun. So with the error, the Mustang's going to try to make it hurt in a good spot here. Ava Carver. starting to run a little low so I'm trying to get it juiced up bear with me here all foul back Ava Carver. Ready to do the work. In the box, two on. That one popped right side. It will be out of play. Two on, one out. Ava Carver. About hit on the ground. He's going to throw it across, but runners do advance. So with the runners advance, two outs. Big shot right here can be had by Avery Carver. Avery Carver, one ball, no strikes. That pitch low. Two old count, runners second and third, Mustangs. Trying to plate one. Three O. Gonna throw it down to third. Katie. <laughs> Garrett back on third. Got back under the tag. Making pitching catcher a little nervous. Getting her eye off the task at hand. And the task is Avery Carver. That one call strike three one. The pitch. Fouled off right side. That's going to draw it. 
to a full count. So full count, two outs, two on. Goes after that one, fouls it back. So still full count, Avery Carver in a huge spot here. Goes after that one, fastball inside for the third out. So still a 1-1 game going to the bottom half of the inning. On behalf of all the hits, Star 107.3 and Mustang Sports Nation, we would like to take this time to thank Double S Farms for all they do for our county, our community, and our student athletes. Wherever a need exists, you will find Double S Farms. All right, so the Mustangs. Still with the tie game going to the bottom half of the inning. Zoe Fro, John Amount. Bunt tried. Zoe with the next pitch. Stays low. Two balls and a strike. Third base, glove throws across, and the out made. Good job, J.C. Beth Phillips. Very consistent over there. One out, lefty. Avery stays out. So he finds her there, and a ball call. Another one outside.
Joey with the pitch. Another one down. She walks her. So a runner will reach. Okay, thank you. Yeah, just go get that big battery if you will. So a runner on. One out, Zoe Froge at the ready. Hey. One ball, no strikes, one out, one on. So two old count. Ball hit center field. Ava Carver gives chase. Taylor Wilkins there, and the runner will reach, and runners will advance. So first and second now, with one out, and that will bring number six to the plate. Mustangs in a little bit of a pickle, still one out. That one a call strike. Starts her off. No balls, one strike. And the pitch, that one inside. out to her, calms her pitcher down. Three one Zoe trying to find a strike. That's going to load them up. Runner reaches. So with one out, runner on first, second, and third. Coach Wilkins calls a quick timeout. Wants to pull her team together. And there's going to be a swap. I think it'll be Ava Carver finding her way to the mound. So Junior will take over for the freshman. The House of Onyx has been serving their customers since 1967. They have items for guys and gals of all ages in any price range, starting as low as $20. They don't just sell gifts, they sell memories that can be handed down for generations. At the House of Onyx, you will find jewelry, minerals, fossils, as well as polished, tumbled, and even unearthed crystals. Stop by at any time, Monday through Friday from 9 to 4, no appointment needed. Let Renee and her team help you find your next gift for that special someone that will be enjoyed by generations to come. At House of Onyx, 120 North Main Street, Greenville, Kentucky, 270-338-2363.
All right, back to a very exciting game at hand. Bases loaded, Ava Carver takes over in the circle. First pitch, gonna stay down. One ball, no strikes. Well, bottom half of the inning. Fifth or sixth. Fifth, I believe. That one stays high, 2 0. Comes in at 53. So, perfect scenario would be a grounder to first or a line drive to first throwback there. Actually, line drive to pitcher throwback to first is what I'm trying to get out. For those of you who have played this game, understands or a ground to the pitcher, throw home, then down to first. You got many different ways here with the bases juice, but we need to get two without anybody scoring. So a two-one count. Ava Carver, that ball hit on the ground. Nice job, Jocelyn. No, she goes to third and makes a beautiful play. A run does score, but man, what a play by the freshman Jocelyn. No. So runner on third is erased, runner first and second. It will be two to one now, Wes Jessman. Jessman, Jessman. Jocelyn. Making a fine play. Thank you. What's the count, do you know? That ball hit, foul, left side. Runners first and second, two outs. So one, one count. Hit, foul ball, left side. Yeah, and the pitch is strike, way to get us out of it. Ava Carver, nice work. Testing.
All right. Coming to the plate here for the Mustangs is going to be the freshman. Joshua No made a fine play to get us out of the inning. And after a lot of hard work, I finally figured out how to make my stinking eye pass start charging again. Down in the 20s, that ball popped up. Catcher looks for it, finds it, makes the play. And Taylor Wilkins steps in for the Mustangs, one out. And the pitch, Taylor goes after it, something off speed. So West Jessman, the Colts up two to one over the Mustangs here, top half of the six. Taylor awaits, hits one. Behind second base, little trouble right fielder comes in, calls it, makes the play for the second out. So that will put it on the eighth grader, Ella Watkins. So top of the sixth inning, Ella fouls one off, two outs. Mustangs down by a run, two to one right now. And the pitch goes after it. Oh, two. Ella gonna have to protect. One ball, two strikes. And the pitch, that one. Hit second base. Gloves, throws. And gets the out. All right. Bottom of the six. Yeah. So bottom of the six inning. Wes Jesmer steps in. Ava Carver trying to get her team back to the dugout as quick as she can. 
Ball comes in at 53 low, Ava or Abri. Stops it, gets it back to her. And the pitch. Hard shot, left side, it will be foul. Down the third base side. Ava rocks back, that one low. Avery knocks it down. Two balls in a strike. Ava gets the call, evens it up 2-2. Nice pitch there at 52 miles an hour. Sets. Ava sets, throws again off speed, and it's hit up the middle. Thought she had her there. Good at bat there. By the West Jasmine, number 44. So runner on. Ava with the pitch. Outer portion. No balls, one strike. Runner on, no outs. Bottom of the six. Ava Carver with the pitch. Ball hit hard down to JC Best. She's going to go two, then across. Abigail tries to turn it. Runner out ran it, but the first out made. Runner still on first. That one foul back. So a 0-1 count with one out, runner on one. Bottom of six, the pitch from Ava. Call the ball, that'll even it up, 1-1. One, one. Pitch foul back, Ava now working ahead. One ball, two strikes. Inside a call, third strike, beautiful pitch. Great frame by her sister. Vicious and malicious working together there for the second out. So trying to hold that runner right where she's at, get this third out, get in the dugout and score one. So today, the boys will be playing at 3 o'clock. I will be there. So tune in to that one. Tomorrow, the games overlap. I do baseball first, and I will be late getting to the softball game. The good thing about the softball side is they play at this facility. That one, a third call strike at a girl. Ava Carver, way to do the work, way to get it done. So top of the seventh inning, we have to score to stay.
So the senior Abigail Skaggs has been hitting the ball extremely well this year, ready to get it started, knowing we need base runners to continue. Behind her is going to be Zoe Froge, a very talented freshman. Right, Abigail ready to start it. Mustangs down two to one. Top of the seventh inning, need one here. Abigail, the first pitch inside low. One ball, no strikes. goes second base. Gloves throws across. And the camera's froze. Doggone it. I don't know what's going on with that camera over there. Regardless, you'll have to trust me, out made on first. So Zoe Froge and behind her will be Katie Garrett. Zoe Froge working diligently, knowing we are in desperate need of a base runner. Zoe, a freshman pitcher, third baseman, sees that one go past for a strike at 50 more miles an hour. after that one stays in front of the plate pitcher gloves throws across and the second out made so Mustangs down to their last out down two to one Katie Garrett hoping to change that He goes after that one, second base. She'll throw across and the outs made. So the Mustangs go down against the West Jesmond here at first game of Florida. So again, I will be at the baseball game at three o'clock. I'll go live obviously a little bit before. So Mustang Nation, this game was brought to you by all the hit star 107.3. We hope you enjoyed this live stream and if you did, the best way to show it is hit that like, follow, or subscribe button on behalf of Casey and Michael Davis and myself. We would like to thank you for supporting all Mustang students. And as I sign off, I'd like to remind you that the only thing fair on this side of heaven is a ball hit between first and third. May God bless you wherever you are. I'll be back live at the baseball side, 3 o'clock. See you.